Hi and welcome to Movie Suck. Now, this caught me a bit by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Wasn't expecting it, didn't know when it was coming out. Hadn't even really thought about the movie for a long time, but the new trailer for Wonder Woman 1984 dropped last night and I was like, what? I didn't know that was coming out. Who knew that was coming out? Did anyone know that that trailer was coming out? I had no idea. Wonder Woman, one of my favourite characters, absolutely love Wonder Woman in the comics and in the cartoons, Justice League cartoons, everything. Wonder Woman is a fantastic character, a proper feminist character because she's like a big, she's Amazonian, of course she's pretty big, but she's big, she's strong, she's awesome, she kicks butt, she is extremely feminine and amazing. All oh, right, she doesn't act very feminine a lot of the time and she's always amused when um, other people are acting feminine, at least from the cartoons because I'm mostly a cartoon guy. I I just love Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is awesome, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen in Wonder Woman 1984. They said it in the 80s. 80s is like the best decade ever. Men were men, women were women, and cool stuff happened. Crazy music, big hair, you know, the works. I love the 80s. Bright colours, big hair, great music. And now, Wonder Woman 1984. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I saw, I'm sorry ahead of time if I end up pausing this a few times. I'm going to try not to, I don't really know a hell of a lot about what's going on with this film, so I am actually very excited to see this trailer. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. My life hasn't been what you probably think it has. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. Well, this is 1984, and she was in love in was it, World War One. Wow, yeah, pretty long time before that, like 80 years, 70 years, sorry. What the hell happened to my maths? Anyway, let's watch a bit further. You? So many times. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel? I love the 80s. 80s music's just fantastic. And Gal Gadot looking pretty damn awesome as always. Welcome to the future. Life is good, but it can be better. And why shouldn't it be? All you need. Okay, I don't think Gal Gadot needs heels that high. See those heels? Ooh, look at those. Damn. Girl's pretty tall as she is, as far as I remember. But then Wonder Woman's like, what? How, how tall is Wonder Woman? 6'4", something crazy? You need is to want it. No idea what's going on, but loving it. Looking fantastic. And Pedro Pascal there, playing someone or other, some 80s businessman who's got a big idea, like, he looks a bit Donald Trumpy there, doesn't he? Think about finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today, but you can save the world. Steve. <laughs> Then just me or anyone else gets slightly emotional there. Because you, everyone knows what, how Wonder Woman feels about Steve from the first film. Because he died, now he's back, and she's like, oh, Steve! How the hell is Steve back? Obviously, it's something to do with that guy's wish thing or whatever, that weird businessman guy. No. This I think dude. I want in return. I'm also going to guess it's something to do with that rock in his hand. Which is maybe where Cheetah comes into this, because I heard Cheetah's in this, and the incarnation of Cheetah, uh, was it Barbara Minerva? I forget the detail now, but anyway, that incursion version of Cheetah was an archaeologist, or obsessed with archaeological artifacts or something. Everyone will see. I keep doing this, I keep pausing, but that was awesome. The bullet the bullet shots to the music, that was just effing fantastic. Love that. I 
needs you. You know what you need to do. Nothing good is born from lies. And greatness is not what you think. Okay, holy cow, the action there. The action within that hallway, anyway. That bit where she's just jumping off the truck, the physics felt slightly wrong there, so. But, the action in that hallway just looked amazing. She looks fantastic. It looks like a fucking comic book. Which feels like the 80s, because the 80s are so bright and colourful. Oh, it looks like a comic book. Who wouldn't want a comic book film to look like a comic book? Awesome. <laughs> Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was pretty damn cool. I'm so excited. This film actually looks really good, and I hope there's no woke agenda bullshit in it, because DC doesn't seem to be going that way, and that makes me very, very happy. Did not like that weird gold outfit she was wearing at the end. That whole Themyscira stuff. I've never been a big fan of when she goes back to Themyscira. It's how out of place she is within modern society that's so interesting with Wonder Woman. Except, obviously, she eventually fits in and things, but when she first comes to it. But this is so exciting. This looks so good. Looks so good. If they let me down on this, I'm going to be so pissed off. Because that just looked fantastic. Now, of all the trailers I've seen recently, 007, Time, No Time to Die, well, he doesn't have time to pop his clogs, whatever. Black Widow. To be honest, this Wonder Woman, this Wonder Woman film just looks like the best thing that's coming so far. I'm sure there's going to be other great movies coming, but... As far as comic booky things and superhero sort of stuff, this is the best thing coming so far. This is Movie Sucks signing out. I will catch you guys on the flip side.